So I take my chunk of clay, and usually I'll do this with two coils because one is a little hard to kind of work with. Um, and I just kind of use my hands to kind of hand form it into a coil. I like to use my hands because I find that the canvas or whatever your tabletop, if it absorbs moisture, sometimes it can dry out the clay a little bit more. And the softer the clay, the better with this because you really want the clay to kind of push easily. It's just easier on your hand, especially when you make like five of these in one day. So I'm gonna just lay my coil on my bat and I like to use the edge of the bat to kind of set my circle. So it kind of keeps it in the round. Um, a lot of these bats, it's nice. You can draw concentric circles on them so you can kind of follow those too. And then I just overlap where my coils meet. Okay, so once the coil is combined and I have a ring of clay, then I'm going to adhere it to the bat. I wanna adhere it to the bat because this allows me to keep it in the round as I'm working. Um, also with this porcelain and a lot of porcelains, uh, they have a tendency because they don't have grog in them to kind of wanna warp on you. So if I try to keep it in the round as I'm forming it and working with the clay, it's more likely to stay in the round as it's firing. So what I'm doing is I'm lightly taking my um, index and middle finger on the inside and my thumbs on the outside and I'm pressing the clay to the bat, just making sure that it's nice and secure. I'll even run a finger across it on the inside, just making sure it's nice and blended and on the outside. So again, just making sure it's really adhered because this is pretty much gonna stay on the bat till I'm ready to cut it off and flip it over. We're nice and adhered to the bat. You can see that the coil is well stuck. Um, again, this will keep the shape in the round as I'm forming it. Um, and it'll keep this clay from drying out too much because it's pretty important as I get to the point when I'm flipping it over that I can have the clay soft enough that I can pinch it up. So it's kind of a process where we're pinching half up um, to form the base and then flipping it over and pinching the rest. I build these upside down because uh, structurally it's just easier for the clay. It's more stable. If I build up and in, I can work a little quicker um, and it's easier to kind of control the shape than if I'm building up and out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use more pressure with my outside hands than my inside hands. So how I'm most comfortable with this is doing it right in front of me and it's going to be my thumbs on the outside just applying a little bit more pressure to than my inside hands. So the inside hands are kind of just um, kind of more passive uh, and they're going to allow the thumbs to kind of press the clay against it. So I'm just going to kind of go and what I do is I start at the bottom and I'm gonna work my way around. So I'm kind of going right just above the edge and I'm gonna go all the way around, starting to get the clay kind of angling in. You can kind of hear that's why it's important to have it really adhered to the bat because sometimes there's a little bit of lifting too, so. Um, and now I'm going to go up just a little bit, a half inch, 